The graph below shows population data for one kind of insect over 50 years. Which statement best describes the population of the insect over this 50 year period? We can see here's our years on the bottom. This is our independent variable. A lot of times if you have time, it's gonna be on the bottom down here. And then we have our insect population over on the side. And the higher you go, the greater the number of those insects. And we see some years the, the population increased and then they decreased, then they increased, then they decreased, then they increased, and they'll probably decrease again later on. We just haven't got that much data on here. So it decreased steadily, nah, we see it going up and down. It didn't increase steadily, uh, remained constant. Well, that'd be where the same number of insects year after year after year after year, that's not it. It follows a cyclic pattern. Cyclic means repeating pattern. Um, it's kind of like a, a cycle, um, kind of like the water cycle. We have evaporation, condensation, precipitation, runs off, starts over again, evaporation, condensation, precipitation, runoff, evaporation. It's a cycle. It repeats over and over again. Um, and so what, that's what we see here. We see a repeating pattern of rising and falling, rising and falling, rising and then probably falling there later on.